Hey, hi everyone, um, welcome back to this time uh, the animation on um, basically um, using the, the level editor, the 2D level editor. This is a 2D level editor that was created by my company, my coders R2F and, and, and Magic, with a J, Magic Inc. Uh, middleware. And basically it's a 2D uh, data sets uh, level editor for XNA that gives information to the coder of your tiling of the video game. Uh, we also use it to, um, to decide on the speed of the layers. Uh, we also use it to uh, put a uh, gameplay data sets and user interface to explain to the uh, coder where it should be located and how it looks like. So after you unzipped it, you will see two things. You have my uh, level right here, so you can see how it works out. This is to keep for yourself only and to show no one, all right, because it's not even out yet. So I'm making you guys a, a favor by showing you the whole thing. All right. Uh, again, that, that editor is for educational purposes only. You cannot use it professionally to make money and make professional game with it. Um, if you decide to do so, you need to contact me all right, uh, at my email. You got it. It's pretty easy. And, 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 and most of the time, it's just a formality. Okay? Um, it doesn't involve much money at all, actually. It's mainly a formality. Okay? But it needs to be done. Okay? And it's a pretty cool level editor. It's got a couple of bugs, but I, I like the level editor. Uh, you click on level editor. Uh, the first thing, really, actually, very important is that you have to have a folder in the same folder that then the level editor exe uh, that's called images, and this is where you put all your art, all right, like the mountain, the, the volcanoes that I have, and stuff like that. Uh, you know, the platform, the play fields, all right, all my play fields. As you can see, I got uh, um, around six play fields that I decided to do. Okay, you guys, and you name them properly into the layering scheme that you have decided during uh, your mini game doc. That's another reason we do that, uh, which is totally new for you guys. Uh, and it's a little harder. You need to figure it out properly. Okay, don't forget about the R sets, right? Do, I mean, don't worry about the R sets right here. This is just the raw files of my R sets. Okay, um, this is, doesn't need to be there. Now you click on level editor. You get the level editor right here. Okay, this is a simple level editor. There's a couple of bugs, as you will figure it out really quickly. Um, right here, uh, basically you get a couple things. The first thing is that right here you get the properties of your level by clicking here. Okay, so you can change it. Uh, game for 443, let's say for example, uh, three, um, 243, sorry, 243 level, and you can give him the size you want right there. Okay, you apply that and you're good to go. Okay, now uh, um, you have, if you click on an image, you see your, all your folder shows up now, you have some time to uh, refresh it. Okay, but all your folder shows up, when you click on an image, it shows it to you in the image preview. So you know what you're doing, don't worry, this is transparent, okay? So you know what the heck is going on. Okay, it's fairly important, it works pretty well like that. Now you got all your image, images right there. Okay, now in proper layers and so forth. Okay, I even have my gameplay one where I put a uh, thing like the fly mock up, you know, some of the thing, the weapons, so, so I know where my bonuses and weapons will be. Now you need to add layers basically uh, to your levels. Okay, um, so now you click right here on the level and you say add new layer. All right, and it'll add a layer right here. You can rename it and I'll animate sky, uh, for example. All right. And you have a speed right here that you can decide later on. We'll talk about that later on at the end. For the coder, you'll tell them what speed, how many pixels uh, per uh, seconds per frame you know you want to m move it to. Okay, so you say apply, and I'll apply it. And then you do another one. All right, so you say just thing, another layer, and you're going to make a couple of them like that. So we have sky, we're going to have background. So we're going to maintain my case. Because that's what they are, and I'll apply that, and then uh, I'll have the uh, the lava in my case, and I'll apply that, and then after that I have the volcanoes, and I'll apply that, and then after that I'm gonna have um, my playfield. All right, okay. So you get the draft of all the layers you need to create like that. After the play field, uh, I'm gonna have the platforms, for example. All right. 
and we're gonna have platforms uh, font and we we'll apply that and we we'll make a new layer platform back all right like that we are gonna want to also have um, shadows and dirt so we call that environment so I'll do another one called environment oops with an E all right um, and let's see another one which is the front layer front layer all right so we have quite a bit of stuff now it needs to be just filled up so now we go to our sky right here we we'll right click on it which make sure we say left click which shows the proper picture right click on it and say add to layer sky and you'll add it right in your layer sky you can change the size of your editor all right you can snap to grid or not you can show the grid you can change the size of your grid if you decide to that's why all right you guys Uh, I don't do that so much. Uh, the size also can be changed. Let me get it smaller so we understand what we're, what we're doing. All right, you guys. Um, so that works pretty well right there. Okay. Now, uh, in the property of the level, I've done only in width 1280, which is just one frame. Okay, you guys. Uh, of your level, you'll have to make the size that you, you know it is. Okay, I'm not going to go tiling forever. Okay. So now, in the file mountain, I'm going to right-click something, I'm going to right-click, proper size, okay, mountain, put it right there, boom. I can go into the mountain, select it, and move it where it belongs, okay? We can snap it too, uh, to make sure it'll snap properly, sometimes you don't want to fully, uh, you know, make sure, right, perfect, okay? Now what we're going to add is we're going to add now more stuff, so the lava, for example, now is on top of it. Uh, so right here, we select it, right, add lava, alright, we'll get to the lava one right here, which you can, you know, you can uh, change the stuff of it, and you can move it wherever you need to, okay, like that you have your lava wherever you need to, okay, uh, which is pretty cool right there all right now we're gonna add some stuff to it now we're gonna add the volcanoes we have a couple of volcanoes in real life it would have been done i mean for fully it would be the same one right it is the same one and you actually just um you know tell the people uh, uh this is the um the same one tell the coder this is the big one and it needs to be resized as you can see on the screen all right uh, i have multiple one right here to tell him the size i want but in reality, it'll be only the big one that will be uh, switched a couple times, okay? So I'll take one in the volcano, right there. See, putting right here, for example, a volcano. I'll take a small one, add to the volcano also. Select volcano, last one, and move it where it belongs, okay? Now let's get for a play field, okay? We select the play field. Let's take one that is uh, uh, that has some uh, good shape for you guys, so we can look more stuff, uh, see more things, and we put it into the play field. We go to play field right here. We grab our tile, break it where it belongs. All right, that's all it gets done to it. Okay, now you have your tile. Uh, you can snap it if you decide to. All right, so it's better like that for the tile for the play field. All right. Uh, now it's really rock right here basically you have a level working out the only thing that the speed of the layer moving will be different okay you guys and now you do the same thing for the platform basically and the platform uh, you have a front and the back platform all right so the back uh, for example uh, uh, let's do uh, a back small one like that and add it to the back platform back all right and uh, grab it right here and do a platform front right here and and grab platform front and you just put it on top of it right here like that and you have your stuff that's how it works all right